Today I am going to make sulfuric acid. I start by weighing out 40 grams of sodium sulfite. Sodium sulfite will be reacted with a volume of hydrochloric acid to produce sulfur dioxide. I add this to my boiling flask. This is the setup I constructed to perform the reaction. My addition funnel will allow me to add hydrochloric acid slowly without letting my sulfur dioxide escape. The collection flask serves to prevent reflux, and the gas will be bubbled through hot 60% nitric acid. Next I fill my addition funnel with 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. This is a very small batch, and not a very efficient way to make sulfuric acid. I don't need sulfuric acid, and I just want to demonstrate the process. Next I am going to slowly let the HCl in to begin the reaction. As always, I am a chemist, and this is not to be repeated at home. I replaced the flask of 60% nitric acid with a graduated cylinder of 99% nitric acid to better demonstrate the reaction. What is happening here is a two-step reaction. First, nitric acid oxidizes the sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. Then the sulfur trioxide dissolves in the acid to form sulfuric acid. Here you can see the reaction happening. A lot of nitrogen dioxide gas is displaced by this process, so this must be done under a fume hood or outdoors. Eventually the reaction stops, and I need to burn off the remaining nitrogen dioxide to purify my sulfuric acid. After a few minutes the solution clears up, and this will go until the solution is colorless. And here is what I'm left with, a few milliliters of pure sulfuric acid. I went ahead and added this to the rest of the sulfuric acid made in the flask from earlier. Sulfuric acid is uniquely efficient at destroying organic material by oxidizing it to carbon dioxide and water. To demonstrate I put some on this for apply tissue. As you can see the acid even started to eat my pipette. Last I'll put this strawberry in the remaining acid while I make another few comments on this process. First, the percent yield using 99% nitric acid was about 21% while the percent yield using 60% nitric was 65%. I believe this is because the sulfur trioxide needs some actual water to dissolve in, and the 99% was to pure. Second, the primary method of producing sulfuric acid industrially is by burning sulfur and sodium nitrate to provide a source of sulfur trioxide. I did it this way because it was easier, but I can do the industrial method if you guys want. And that's sulfuric acid. Subscribe for more.